now happy to be sitting with Matt Turner, who's the CEO of Rockhaven Resources. They trade on the Venture Exchange with the symbol RK. Uh, Matt, I promised myself we wouldn't talk football. Yeah, we'll try not to. We'll try not to talk <laughs> football. Uh, but actually, you know, in one of the uh, on my bookcase, I have this wonderful rock um, that I got from the Clasa Project a couple years ago when we stepped foot there during the Yukon Mine Tours. Uh, wonderful project up there, absolutely beautiful land. Uh, you did a lot of great work last season and the, with the exploration and, and the drill program. Finally started to see some of those results out that finally <laughs> took a while. So, you know, how do you, how do you describe uh, the exploration work and the asset results that came out? Yeah, well, it, it was an interesting year last year because we started off with the kind of the idea of, okay, let's see how we can you know, best expand this deposit. So we started off by doing some step out drilling away from the resources, made some new discoveries. Um, furthermore, we stepped out to the south, quite a ways, about three kilometers, into what was a new discovery made in 2020. And we did about, I think there's about 2,500 meters in that new zone, that's called the Rust. Um, got continuous hits along the 300 meter strike length that we've tested. Um, so that's, that's, that's looking like it could be a significant new vein field in the overall um, vein camp that we're sitting in at Plaza. And then finally what we did at the end was we decided to put, say, the last 6,000 meters or so into advancing the, um, the kind of the, 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 the main company goal is to take this project into pre-feasibility. So we really went strong on the infill drilling. So we did, yeah, again, about 6,000 meters on the infill side of things. Really targeting, I'd say, in weaker parts of the resources where there was either weaker resources or where there were actually just straight up waste blocks within the, the recently completed PEA that was done in 2020. To really see, okay, can we add more in the way of both you know, increasing the ounces, but also potentially adding more economic ounces into areas where there is considered to be as of right now with the current economics doesn't really exist, right? Where it's, where it's not economic. So um, again, it took many months to get those results back, which we started seeing them at, I guess, around January, and we got them out over the course of the next two months. But um, got some really nice infill results uh, again, coupled with the with the exploration results, but the infill results came back. We got some really stellar results in areas, like I say, we're in, effectively in, in waste blocks in uh, in the PEA. So, I think that's going to be a real big um, step forward when we first do the updated resource estimate that will feed into the PFS study. That's right now we're we're, we're eyeing up completion of that in about a year from now. So, say Q2. The, the resource estimate and the and the PFS. We're gonna do them together. Together, basically, yeah. So, I think it'll be a really, I think, key next step for the project because when you start looking at the valuations that the market's given, right now we're again, like most companies say, incredibly undervalued. For our our price to nav ratio right now, if you look at our 2020 PEA and look at our current 21 Canadian million dollar market cap, we're at about a 0.04. Um, and our, our, our peer group is at about a 0.18 when, a, when you're looking at North American projects with PEAs. Now when you look at North American projects with PFS, is, that goes up to, they've got about a 38% or so average. So again, we're looking for a re-rate on this company that could be incredibly significant. Again, we'll see how the market uh, looks at our next stage of infill results and the and the resource and then the PFS that comes off it. But uh, we could be coming up for I think a real inflection point for this for this company for the valuation because right now it's we're not given basically anything right. It's pretty sad. Yeah, I, it, it, I mean there's a lot of companies out there trading the same where yeah. you are anywhere from yeah. ten to oh, twenty sure. million dollar market cap, yeah. unfortunately. But uh, we are starting to see a little bit of buying coming in this week, so fingers crossed that it continues. <laughs> yeah. um, but I want to ask you, you know, obviously, you know, have, taking time to get those drill results out, it's, I, I don't know if a lot of people understand how challenging that is for somebody in your shoes because you need those results to really start planning your next phase of drilling here. Now, if you're getting a lot of those results, the last one's coming in just a couple months ago, 
you know, I'm sh I got to I think it's safe to assume that you've been all hands on deck looking at those results and then putting together something that what you want to do this season as well. So have you, I mean, how busy has it been collecting that well, data? Yeah, I, I would say, especially on the step out targets on how we're going to approach those. Sorry, when I say step out, I mean the distal targets, the ones that aren't at the resource. Those are the ones that I think take a lot of brain power on where to go next. The, the area, funny enough, that actually doesn't take that much brain power is the infill drilling because you're basically going from what's now a 50 meter grid pattern just in filling down to 25s. So it's pretty set in stone where the next holes are gonna be. The only, the only bit of brain power I'd say that I think we really need to put in is to prioritize where are the most economic ounces. And, and again, we've got priorities A through, I guess, E. So, and again, it, it comes back to how much financing we can bring in on this next stage. So that's why we prioritize and we'll, we'll attack the program as, um, you know, in that order, right? So. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned financing. You know, ideally, what, how much do you want to raise here to get through? It'll be about, if you look at the, at the um, so the first step is going to be to complete the infill drilling. Right now, and this is based on our 2018 resource, 60% of the ounce is in, is in the indicated category. So we're sitting at about a 1.6 million ounce gold equivalent global resource. I know we can't say that, but... Um, about nine, what, 975,000 ounces gold equivalent is in the indicated category. At a pretty high grade, it's about, it's about I think, 6.3 grams gold equivalent average. Um, the inferred is another uh, 750,000 ounces or so gold equivalent. But at a lower grade, I think it was about 4.3 or so um, gold equivalent average. So um, the big focus, so again, we're at 60% in the indicated category. We still have that 40% to infill. We've already done 6,000 meters of that total infill drilling that's needed to be done. We did that last year. So we're looking at somewhere realistically around three to $4 million worth of drilling to convert effectively that priority A through E. Again, I'm not sure if we're gonna go all the way down to the lower priority, because that's, you're looking at in the mine life, you're looking at year 10 and out basically, right? So um, with a, Right now we're at a 5% discount rate. Who knows with inflation and everything, we might be going up to 8%, right? So, um, so that's, um, again, we're gonna be tackling those, those upper priority ones first, obviously, and uh, converting on that, and then, um, and then going from there with the, with the, with the PFS. All right, uh, so we'll expect to see news out of financing here yep. shortly. Exactly. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And then all hands on deck and uh, drilling continues yeah we, we will have two the plan is to have two drills going for the entire season so great be good best of luck to you and the team thanks right trevor yeah yeah stay safe out there okay yes. all right that's matt turner ceo of rock haven resources again trading on the tsx venture with the symbol rk